All right, writers, you were told to write a quick narrative story in your notebook about a time you resolved a problem you had with a friend or family member. You're to make sure to include characters, a setting, a problem, and a solution. So if I were going to model this to you, we have to remember a couple of things. First thing is that we have to go through that writing process. The writing process is really going to help us as we draft a good narrative story. So remember that we want to make sure that we are brainstorming, which would be our pre-writing strategy. We may even jot down some things. You're going to make sure to revise and edit your writing and then create that final copy. Before I start kind of thinking through this prompt with you, I want you to look at the prompt and we're going to use an acronym called RAFT, R-A-F-T. RAFT is going to have us stand for role, as in the R is going to be role. The A is going to be audience. The F is going to be format. And the T is going to be um, so role, audience, format, and the T is going to be topic. So R A F T, role, audience, format, and topic. So we need to think about these things when we're looking at any prompt that's ever asked of us. So in this prompt. The role that we are taking is ourselves, okay? We are looking to write a narrative. So we're basically becoming narrative writers and we're just going to tell a story. So that's really kind of the role that we're taking. Our audience would be really anybody that would want to listen. So if you don't really have an answer to that, you might just say that it's your parents or it's basically someone that you hope would read this story. Maybe your teacher or even a friend. Maybe you want your friend to hear what you would say in this problem that you might have had with them. Your format. That format is going to be what the prompt is specifically asking us to write. So that means what the look of our writing is going to be. So if it said to write it on a letter, we need to make sure that we write a letter. If it's asking us to write bullet points, we need to write bullet points. This prompt is asking us to write a quick narrative story specifically in our notebook, okay? So your format is to write a quick narrative story. That's your format. And your topic is going to be about a time you resolved a problem you had with a friend or family member. Okay, so those are the big things that we need to think about in our writing prompts. So remember, you will be writing in your notebook. That's why there's a little picture here. But to kind of just think this out with you, I'm going to kind of tell you my thinking of what I would put in my pre-writing. I like to jot things down when I'm doing my brainstorming, but if you can keep it up in your head, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you do think through these step by step. So for me, watch me as I model to you how to brainstorm and think about answering this prompt. So, <sighs> A time I resolved a problem with a friend or family member. Hmm. I know. I'm thinking about a time that my friend and I, you know, we sat down. So I'm going to say my friend. We, um, we sat down. And this is in no way formatted correctly. I'm just kind of writing literally my thoughts down. My friend, we sat down to plan my birthday party. Okay. I had this whole ordeal. We had this idea for my birthday party. Well, I ended up sharing it with some other friends. I'm going to say sharing with other friends. Um, after I shared the idea with my other friends, we decided to have a party. So 
we put on the party. And guess what? My friend got mad, my best friend. So sat down. So I'm going to say best friend here. And guess what? I forgot to invite her. Okay. Um, and this was before it actually happened. So her and I ended up talking it out because she found out through someone else. And she ended up being invited. We forgave each other. But this was a big thing because me and her were talking about my birthday party. I shared it with my other friends. My other friends decided to put it on. I forgot to invite her. And it was like the day before. And we ended up having to talk it out. She was invited. She was pretty upset with me um, for that whole day. And normally we talked a lot and she wouldn't talk to me then. Anyways, these are all little details that when I'm actually writing my quick narrative story that I could add to it. So these are just my brainstorming thoughts. I can take these thoughts out and I can put them in order if I wanted to, which I already told it in the form of an order. So I could say, you know, this was the first thing that happened you know, and then the next thing that happens was I shared it with my friends. So if you're that person that wants to put it out there, maybe you decide to put something else within it. Um, these are just all really good ideas to help you brainstorm. And then writers, you just, you sit and you start writing it. So I could take my time now to kind of make it more of a narrative story. Remember, a narrative story is the story that you're basically telling, um, and it has all those different elements in it. So we're just making sure we have a storytelling type of narrative. So I could say, oh, you know, best friends are hard. Um, I'm going to say best friends. I'm trying to think of something I would want the theme to be taken away from. Basically, best friends are a dime a dozen. It just means that they're... Not everyone has a best friend. And best friend I never done. And you have a best friend, except for You typically tell them everything, right? Think I'm right. Well, this is a story. I'm going to finish the sentence and then I'm going to wrap up our thinking. But story about a time I I didn't tell my best friend. Okay, and I could keep on going. So it's just kind of me getting that that um, writer to kind of get interested in my writing there with a hook. Okay, so writers, just remember that when you're looking at a prompt, you're going to read the prompt. You're going to think about raft. So what's the role you're taking? So for me, it's for this one, it's just us taking the role of being ourselves and telling a story. The A would be the audience. I want to write to potentially my friend, my teacher, my mom. Um, the format is to write it in the form of a narrative story in my notebook, making sure to have my character setting problem and solution. So within that brainstorming, I had that character, which is me and my friend and then my other friends, the setting, I didn't really explain it. It's kind of just implied that it's, you know, around my town, but I could be more specific with that. The problem and solution, I clearly outlined what those problem and solutions are. So that's that format. And then for T, to um, have my topic. My topic is about a problem with a friend or family member. All right. Make sure to brainstorm, which is your pre-writing. 
revise and edit. So after I would draft this, I would revise and edit it, making sure I spelled everything right, have correct punctuation. Um, and then I would publish my final copy. Now, after we've done all that, writers, don't forget that you're going to pick a different grammar skill. So during this specific module, our um, grammar skills that we had were, let's just kind of look real quick. Let's say complete sentences. So if I have a fragment or a run-on sentence or something like that, I could outline that. So here, I'm just going to pick out best friends are a dime a dozen. So right here, this is a complete sentence. I could just underline it. Um, you don't have to do a couple, a, a whole thing if we're looking at complete sentences. But if you notice you have a fragment in your draft, I would definitely underline that. Um, here, you know, if I had a run on sentence and I realized it, I could also underline it, but really just underline one of your sentences, making sure that you have that grammar skill there. If you need to go back and look at the video to review what you learned, pause the video and then read it, you're more than welcome to do so. Happy prompt writing.